Good morning, my friends. We're arriving here in Daisy Hill. We have a carpet python that's made its way onto the roof. She's worried about her old cat that lives here, and we're gonna see if we can't relocate it back to the bush. Let's go check it out. We, hello, we just saw him poking this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pop up there quickly. See, because I don't want him to go back in the roof. Can you really go through? Just sitting in there. You gonna be tricky to get out? Let's see. Pretty long, it goes all the way down. But yeah, the birds will, once they see him, they do bashing the heck out of them. So. Yeah, this is a decent sized python, so probably the right thing to do. I know, buddy. You already didn't want to come out. Here he comes over here, Bobby. He's already huffing and puffing. He's trying to figure out if he can actually. Ooh. Yeah, the birds are probably already beating on him. He's getting a little bit feisty. Go up that way, mate. Come on. Take him out. Ooh. Look at that. It's a good sized snake, hey? All right. Wow. Definitely a good size snake. All right. He's not going to come towards me now. Yes, yes. Thank you. Don't come back down. Oh! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> All right. I have to do a different strategy. Hang on here. This one has already been beat up. Ah. <sighs> And it's definitely on the move there. That was a close strike. <laughs> but I gotta keep that distance. He's just gonna have a go. <sighs> They're just so strong, you have to actually just tickle them out first. Then you can get them down to the ground. <sighs> That's a good size snake there. Look at that. Got something in his belly there. Okay. Something small, maybe a rat, sir. It's all right, buddy. Did you get that strike on him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> but that's a big snake there. It's over two meters. Yeah. But we'll get him in the bag. Definitely. Get him back away from here into the bush. <laughs> yeah, one this year. We had about five last year. Really? Yeah, one in the last year. Oh goodness, um, he snuck in even. The next across the road there, they had six in a week. Like four in a day. <sighs> oh, happy days. <laughs> Here's the big boy from the roof. The one that almost got me. I mean, I kind of feel bad for them because usually when they're on the roofs and things, these guys, they get beat up by the birds and they were saying that the crows and stuff were actually after this one. But it's a big snake. Big healthy sucker. And he's got a nice meal in his belly too. Look at that snake, man. That is a nice, nice size. This would be some perfect bushland for this coastal carpet python. Woo! Happy days! G'day everybody! We are headed out to Bethania to get a red belly black snake. Now they've coached it out of their place and it's gone into the bushes. So she's got hubby and hubby's dad watching the snake area, standing a safe distance of about four or five meters away. Now they have two small kids, so they're quite worried about that. And in this area, we do get a lot of red belly blacks and they're highly venomous, so you do need to be careful with them. Uh, they're a pretty elusive snake, so they're kind of harder to catch. So hopefully he's just sitting in the bushes there. We can snag him and then we'll get him back to the bush. We'll see you there. See if we can't snag him up. So how long is it about? 
meter. Yeah. Uh, say, probably about a meter. Maybe more. Meter Have you guys been just seeing them pop in and out of here? No, no, it's just in that head. Like, we've been standing guard. Okay. It's probably been about 15, 20 minutes since we've actually seen it. Okay, like right. It's so it's um, hiding in here somewhere. It's hunkered in. Okay. Um, do you want us to tell you last time we last place we saw it? Yeah, yeah. Where was that at? Last place we saw it, it was popping its head out near those pavers on the other side. Oh, on the other side. Yeah. yeah. I'm just watching this side to make sure it doesn't come out here. See that blue piece there, mate? See that blue thing? Yeah. That's where it stuck its head out and that's where it went back in. Okay. Uh, we couldn't see it on the ground anywhere. We thought it might have climbed up to the yeah. yeah, they can climb. Yeah. You can yeah. climb into the... We tried to... They're not the... The best climbers, but they can climb. Yeah. We're well, definitely know, climbing this step. On the other side there, just I agitated step. the ground with the shovel just to see if we can spook it out. But I think you might have gone up. Okay. Look through carefully. Look see what I mean, sweetheart? Well, oh, I can see that a red belly snake skin that's yeah, in there. Ah, so I was right seeing that skin. Yeah. Is that an indication that they could have been there for days? Or just recently shed in there. Right. Because we've had, we've had our, my grandchildren playing just here. Yeah. I know, that's the scary part. Yeah. But from, my, from my experience with um, red belly blacks, if you don't corner them or... or you know, they're yeah, they're, they're pretty elusive. They really just want to get out of your way. <laughs> yeah. De definitely. <laughs> Here's the skin. So it's a decent size red belly black then. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Oh I see him. I see the snake. He's going out. He's going out that way. He's trying to figure out a way out, so oh, I'm glad you found him. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, Alan, I see him. He's out, out on this side. Yeah, okay. Just move slow, Bob. Don't yep. make any sudden movement. I'm not. I'm just watching him. And we'll definitely make no sudden movement. He can't see me right here. He's right here, in between these two bricks. Okay. Buddy. Looks like he's a little injured right there. Yeah, it looks like there's a little injury there. Yep. Well, we can uh, we'll give that a check out. But that's uh, yeah. So that's an adult red belly. Now these guys give birth to live young actually instead of laying eggs. Oh, did I? Oh, wow. Is it a female um, or a male? No, you can't can't tell. Can't tell unless you probe them actually. But we'll go get them in the bag. You got the bag? Yeah. Up. I'm gonna grab it. Very good. Nice catch. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no <laughs> worries. <laughs> Woo! Happy days. All right. G'day, everybody. We have our uh, red belly black snake here. It's looking all right. We had a look over the injury. It looks like an old injury that's all healed up. So he's happy and ready to rock. Now, this guy is very cool. But he was in the front yard of a house and um, he's just was, you know, it was very concerning for the small children that were there. So we're going to let him go. We got right next to some wetland area here, right next to the river and the frogs will uh, be plentiful and you'll tear him up. There he goes. Out of the box and say goodbye. <laughs> Happy days. I got better scissors than mine. <laughs>